Hi everyone and welcome to Roo's Kitchen and Garden. So today we are going to make another recipe in the vegan and gluten free series that we are doing. It's called the Walatsa Birda. Now Walatsa Birda is made of wal. Wal is beans. We call it Kadwe Wal. But these are typically your Lima beans, Fava beans, Broad beans. There are various categories. There are various shapes and sizes and names for the same beans or a little variation in them. Uh, so the sizes are different, the shapes are different, sometimes the colors are different. Now these Kadwe Wals are yellow butter beans. They are also called as butter beans because of their texture that they get after they, they cooked. Now these are predominantly used in Maharashtrian, Gujarati and Parsi households. So obviously, when there are these communities using these beans, um, they are made in various different styles. In Maharashtra itself, they are made in so many different ways. We make darimbi usar, like the coconut style is the darimbi chi usar. Today what I am going to make is called Walatsa Birda. Now I had eaten this Walatsa Birda at my friend Namrita Karkhanis' house. And this that happened to be her mother-in-law's recipe. And I have tried various uh, permutation combinations to get the recipe taste in the same way like I had eaten at her place. I also got, she was generous enough to give me her mom-in-law's recipe. But no matter what I did, I just could never replicate what I ate at the Karkhanis household. So this is my take on the Walatsa Birda. So let's go down to the kitchen and let's start making our Walatsa Birda. Okay, so let's see the ingredients. Here I have got some Kadwe Wal. We've sprouted them. The procedure is uh, fairly simple. You soak them, you tie them in a cloth the next day and then you sprout them. So it takes around two days from the dry to the sprouted uh, wal. Then we have taken over here, this is half cup finely chopped onion for two cups of Kadwe Wal. Um, then this is one cup of coconut, uh, grated coconut. I've added some water and I've uh, I, I ground it in the mixer because I like this texture better. Um, then this is some turmeric, mustard, and hing. These are for tempering. This is four teaspoon of jaggery. This is two tablespoons of uh, tamarind paste. This is a mixture of 4 to 5 cloves of garlic with 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds and I have pound them together. Then this is some coriander leaves, some coriander leaves. Now, this is mirkut, okay, which is a mixture of dry red chilli, dhania seeds and fennel seeds. Now this is a typical masala of a household, CKP household. But if you don't have this, uh, well, I would prefer that you make this because the fennel, the dhania seeds and the red chilies give a different uh, taste to it. But if you don't have this masala or don't want to make this masala, you can just use red chilli powder and some fennel powder and coriander powder. Alright, so this is mirkut. We have some salt to taste. We have some oil here, like you know, we I use either peanut oil or sesame oil. You can use any oil of your choice. Then I have some uh, hot water here. Normal water is also fine, but I have some hot water. This is around um, one to two cups of hot water. So that's it. Now let's start cooking our walatsa birda. So we've taken some hot oil or we've taken oil in the hot pan. I am using coconut oil here. To this oil, I am going to add some uh, mustard seeds and the heen and the turmeric. So we are making a fordney. Once the fordney sizzles, the mustard seeds crackle, I am going to add our onion into the pan. Okay, you can hear a little sizzling in the pan. Yep. 
let the mustard seeds crackle nicely there you go after that's done mm, it smells really nice you add your onion to this give it a nice stir after the onions become a little soft we'll add the wall into the pan now that the onions have gone nice and soft we are going to add the wall to this pan and give it a nice mix nicely coat the wall with the onion and at this point we'll add the garlic and cumin paste that i had made so i'm going to add that to the pan now and again give it a nice mix and shake it till the raw smell of the garlic and also the wall disappear so let give it a nice mix mm Oh, it's just smelling really good. At this point, I'm uh, going to add the mirkur, which is the dry red chili, fennel, and dhania seeds powder that I've made. I'm going to add all of it. That was uh, four teaspoons of powder. Mm, sorry. So once you've added all of this and the raw smell has kind of gone you need to add 1 cup or 2 cups actually of hot water or water whatever and let the beans boil So I'm going to do that I'm going to add some more water to this pan There you go That's it Submerge it so that it boils well and then you cover this pan and let the beans cook nicely and become soft okay so now we check that the wal is nice and sorry <laughs> sorry is nicely cooked there you go you just can press it with your hand and it breaks that's a sign that this is cooked now to this we add some salt as per your taste and add some tamarind paste and add some jaggery and this coconut grated coconut that i had made you can add grated coconut but i like i said i don't like that coarse texture so i grind it with water so i'm going to add this grated coconut to my pan again give it a nice mix mm looks good and add your coriander leaf now this is to be eaten with rice so if you want to add some more water to it please go ahead and add it so i'm going to add little more water There you go, and I'm going to cover it, and I'm going to let it boil to a rapid. Let it come to a rapid boil, and once it's boiling rapidly, I'll switch off the gas. So here I'm increasing the gas. I'm putting a cover on it and waiting it for it, waiting for it to rapidly boil. This is boiling rapidly. Give it a stir. See if it is. to your desired consistency and then you can just switch off the gas and eat it with hot steaming rice so this is it plain rice your walatsa birda and some poppadums bon appetit friends thank you for watching bye